मसक समान रूप कपिधरी श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम लंक चले नाम लंकिनी एक निशिचारी श्री राम शोक चल सी मोही निंदरी श्री राम जय राम जाने नहीं मरम सठ मोरा श्री राम जय राम मोर आहार जहा लगी चोरा श्री राम जय मुठिका एक महाकपिहानी रुधिर बमत धरनी धनमानी कोई संभाली उठी सोलंकाश जोरी पानी कर बिनय जब रावण ब्रह्म बर दीना चलत बिरंजी कहा मोई चीना कल हो सीत कपि के मारे श्री राम जय तब जाने सुनी सी चर संघारे जय सीताराम जय सीताराम सियावर रामचंद्र की जय मसक समान रूप कपि धरी ही टुक फॉर्म अ स्मॉल एज अ मस्किटो इट इज फोर ओ इन द मॉर्निंग प्लेस इज डार्क वे वुड यू फाइंड सच अ लॉयल एंड डेडिकेटेड इमिग्रेशन ऑफिसर who can see a mosquito in the dark huh eh? she was so dedicated to ravan that she could see a little mosquito either that or they had very advanced radar system that could even see a mosquito you know masak saman rup kapi dhari lank hi chale hi chaleu sumiri narhari and she he remembers narhari his ishta devata is Ram, oh, what an amazing thing! I tell you, Tulsi Daji is writing, and he is supposed to remember Ram because he, when he left just now, we saw yesterday, he remembered Ram so many times when he was leaving. Now he's entering Lanka. He's supposed to remember Ram again. He remembers Narahari means Narasimha Bhagwan. Oh, Tulsi Daji is writing, writing. No, no, he can't write Ram here. He has to remember Narasimha Bhagwan because Narasimha Bhagwan. is the lord to remember when things seem impossible it seemed impossible that anybody will be able to kill hiranyakashipu because he cannot be killed outside no inside he cannot be killed by man no animal he cannot be killed in night time no 
day time. He cannot be killed. Up, no, down. All these, you see, impossible to kill him. But Bhagwan is the one who makes the impossible possible. And Bhagwan, the buck stops with Bhagwan. When we feel that we have figured out things or we know things, we better think again. And in Bhagwan's dictionary, there is no word called as impossible. Anything which looks impossible, that Lord can make that thing possible. Bhagwan uh, Bhagwan Ram Krishna Paramahamsa used to have a devotee. And he, he said one day to Bhagwan Ram Krishna Paramahamsa, he said, look at this. Even Bhagwan has his hands tied in certain things. Because now he has made this hibiscus tree to give red flowers. Now he also cannot do anything. Because now his hands have become tied. He only has to give red flowers. Ram Krishna Paramahamsa told, don't ever tell. The next day, on the same branch of the same tree, there was a red hibiscus and a white hibiscus. He called that devotee to see that thing. So there is no such thing as impossible in Bhagwan's dictionary. And so, that Lord who himself gave the boon, to Hiranyakashipu. The Lord himself is giving boon to Hiranyakashipu, which made it seem that it would be impossible to kill him. The Lord always have some extra tricks up his sleeve. So he came there and removed that Hiranyakashipu. And so, when anything seems impossible, the Lord to remember is Narasimha Bhagwan. So here, into we enter this Lanka now, he, in Misa say when he saw Lankini and he saw the fortification of Lanka, how it is so well protected, it seemed as though it is impossible to penetrate this Lanka. And so he remembers now Narasimha Bhagwan. Narahari. Then Nam Lankini Ek Nisichari. So Kahachalesi Mohi Nindari. She, she shouted out, Oh, you disrespectful monkey. Means you, you're disrespecting me and entering. You, you did not see immigration here or what? <laughs> what is this? Where is your passport and your visa? Now you show. Huh? Ja, no, so she called him disrespectful first. Then, ja nahi nahi, maram satamora. You don't know my greatness, you fool. And she calls him a fool. <laughs> what names are not? First, disrespectful. Then, second, fool. Then third, more ahara jaha lagi chora. Chor no. <laughs> after the word chor, how to see that she juxtaposes, juxtaposes the words also. After the word chor, the next word is muthika. <laughs> see. The moment the word came out from her mouth, chor, he gave one blow to her. And then, dharam, she fell down like that. So the two words are next to each other. If you call me disrespectful, it may be true. <laughs> if you call me fool, it may also be true. But not chore. Means to say, and see a very interesting thing. You are working for the biggest chore in the history of human civilization. And you never one day call him chore. And this poor monkey Hanumanji never even stole a banana in his own life. Never anything he stole. And then she's calling him? Sure. It's even very... <laughs> so that is called a delusion. Lankini represents delusion. Now what is delusion, you know? I'll tell you. Delusion is when something is in a particular way. It is like this. But you see, or you think, or you understand, opposite to that thing. That is called a delusion. It is like this, there is a rope there, but you see a snake there. You see, this is the opposite thing. This rope is jada vastu. This is, this is one is chetan. Snake is living. There is no living thing there. So you are seeing everything opposite. Like that. And our entire life is based on delusion. Eh? We see everything upside down, ulta, ulta, everything. 
say i'll tell you the first thing in the morning when you wake up you say aha the sun has arisen hmm i tell you the sun doesn't rise you rose <laughs> The sun rises or what? No, so I see the first thing in the morning is delusion. Because you're seeing Ulta. <laughs> Correct or not? Everything in human life is based on delusion. Second thing is you right there also. I woke up. I am not the body, mind, intellect. I am the self. The self doesn't sleep nor wake. Delusion again or not? I'm the self. The self never sleeps or wakes. So every single thing in a human life is delusion. Delusion means when the thing is one way and we see, think, or understand opposite to that thing. That thing is called as delusion. Now, delusion he here gives one blow to Lankini, and Lankini falls down, bleeding from her mouth, and all blood comes out. And then she stands up, just like Bhishma Pitama in, in Mahabharata and all. And all the blood came out. Then sense came to her. Then she got up and she put her hand together. Oh, my dear Hanumanji, thank you very much. That moment of satsang. <laughs> satsang was one blow. That moment of satsang. Then my eyes opened. And, and this is a very, very important thing. Really, see one fellow, he had a cow, and it was in the height of summer, and all the grass outside had become parched and dried and brown color, and he put the cow there. Which intelligent cow will eat <laughs> and dry grass? Certainly not an Indian cow, <laughs> or maybe you know. But anyway, so he found a very nice solution. He went down the street and bought some nice green shades and put it on for the cow, you know. <laughs> the cow cleaned out everything there, you know, like, a, like a lawnmower, you know. <laughs> anyway. The idea is, the delusion, the, the reason for us seeing the world upside down is something is wrong with our vision. So the vision has to be made right side up. The vision has to change. Yeah? That has to be made right side up. And all the wrong notions have to be knocked out. All the wrong notions have to be knocked out. And you know there is only one place. Listen here. We may say whatever we want, and we may be whatever type of intellectual we want, but until we find ourselves in satsang, those wrong notions will not be knocked out. You may read whatever text you want and study, and there are many people who pride themselves in, I am self-taught. <laughs> people say like that, huh? I am self-taught. You can be in certain things but not in Vedanta. Tulsi Daji himself writes in the same Ramayana, Guru binu bhava nidhi tarai na koi. Without a guru, nobody crosses over this sansar. And he gives in the next line, Jau biranchi sankar samahoi. Even if that person be the equivalent of Brahmaji, of Mahesh, of Vishnu, whoever, that person, Bhagwan Ram had Guru, isn't it? Bhagwan Krishna had Guru. So in spirituality, there is no self thing as self taught. No, 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 Swamiji, what about Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharishi, Ram Krishna Paramahansa? They did not have Guru. And they realized, I said, You are Ramana Maharishi, or what are you doing in this class? <laughs> but if you are Ramana Maharishi, you will not be here to ask that. Question, isn't it? And there's always, to every rule, there's always an exception. The peculiar thing about, thing about human beings, he always feels he's the exception. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
This is an amazing thing. One elephant was crossing over a bridge. Hmm? Wooden bridge. And in the middle of that bridge, that bridge collapsed. The elephant fell in the water and then swam out and reached the other side. There was a flea living in his air. <laughs> then when he reached the other side, the flea said, I told you that bridge could not take both of our weight. Hare <laughs> Rama. <laughs> this is a jiva, you know, he always thinks so much of him, himself. It is a very peculiar thing. So, in spirituality, that guru is always required. And in satsang, with gurus, there is where all wrong notions get knocked out. So she called that a moment of satsang. And she, delusion is not to be removed. Um, delusion is not to be killed. Delusion is to be made right side up. From upside down to right side up. And she blesses him, thanks him and everything. And she said, you go into Lanka, you will certainly be successful in your mission. She again blessed. At each time we overcome an obstacle, we are blessed. That obstacle itself blesses us. In other words, it leaves us with more strength, more enthusiasm. It leaves us with more inspiration whenever we overcome any obstacle and more inner determination and so many things. So he keeps getting blessed by all of them.